We go to Vegas, me and the wife, and we have other couples we hang out with. That's what you do you, when you're married. You hang out with other couples, usually couples you can tolerate. <laughs> and hopefully they make about the same amount of money as you. <laughs> There's nothing worse than the broke friends that show up. You know, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I guess we're not having steak. <laughs> and we did it up, you know, we did it up. My, my wife, my wife, uh, she, we went out, she dressed up very nice. She dressed me very nice. <laughs> I'll laugh it up, she dresses me. My wife, look at, uh, this outfit had a sticky note that said Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm her personal little Build-A-Bear. Uh, <laughs> She buys it, I wear it, man. That's the rule at my house. She, uh, she knows I don't like to shop, so what she does is she buys a bunch of stuff, brings it home, I try it on, she approves it, and that's what I wear. That's what I wear. Uh, she, knows I don't, she knows I don't like to try it on at the store. I hate that. I hate to try stuff on at the store, because sometimes she makes me, and, and, and I, I come out of the dressing room like a mad eight-year-old. Can we go? Can we go? So we're in Vegas with my buddies, and uh, we go out and get bottle service. You know, me and her, we get bottle service. We're drinking, we're having a good time, we're dancing. And then somewhere in the night, I, I lost my wife. Uh, I don't know, how, I, I, I told her I was gonna go play craps for a little bit. And I, I, I was playing craps, and I was winning. I was winning a lot, and I never win, I never win. But this time I was winning a lot. And, and all the men were winning, and we were high-fiving and screaming. We were yeah, woo, yeah, baby, yeah, heart six, and we're screaming. <laughs> See, you women don't get it. You don't understand. <laughs> women don't understand what it feels like when men win in gambling. Let me help you out, ladies. Imagine you walk into Macy's, and everything is free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your vaginas would scream, <laughs> and, and then there'd be riots and dead people. But at, at first, uh, so we're winning, we're having a great time, we're drinking, and we're winning, and we're high-fiving, and then all of a sudden I hear, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and all the men at the table got scared. They're like, oh shit, is it mine? Oh shit. <laughs> One guy just left, he grabbed his shit, fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> he just left. I turned around, it was mine, it was my wife. And she was in her pajamas. Free range titties out. <laughs> she was pissed. I said, hey, babe, get over here. We're winning. She was, are you kidding me right now? And I go, what's your problem? She was, my problem is it's 9.45 in the morning. I've been calling you for four hours. I thought you went to jail. <laughs> Which I could understand. I've been to jail several times <laughs> in our relationship. Just get over here right now. And the Crown Royal that I was drinking asked me to ask her if she wanted to go to breakfast. Uh, I go, you wanna go to breakfast? Just get over here right now. And all the men were like, you, you should go. Uh, she looks pissed. You know you're in trouble when your wife comes out in sleepy clothes, no bra. That's some, you're in some shit. Uh, never once have you seen an episode of Cops where a woman's wearing a bra. Never. <laughs> you're in trouble. She says, let's go. And my wife was stomping through the casino. I couldn't keep up because I was going like this. <laughs> I was in so much trouble walking through the MGM Grand that other men, while I was walking by, were getting in trouble. Other women were like, look at him, you piece of shit. Look at him, are you gonna be like that? How are you gonna be like that? Remember last time we came to Vegas, you motherfucker, you did that shit to me. Her tits are out, poor girl. She's over there picking them up before the morning. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I woke up, uh, I woke up in my hotel room about 5 p.m. <laughs> naked, I was naked. Which leads me to believe that I tried to rape my wife. 
I try to rape her sometimes when I'm drunk. She, my wife was gone, she was gone, and so was the money. I'm pretty sure I know who stole it. But I didn't press charges, because uh, she didn't press charges on me trying to rape her, so. She came home about 7 p.m. with a lot of bags. She put them on the floor and became the auctioneer. Let me tell you what I bought, motherfucker. You don't respect me, I don't respect you. See that shit right there? Full price, motherfucker. Full price. Bought that shit right there. Needed, needed another Louis Vuitton? Got it, motherfucker. Check that shit out. Normally, 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 I buy Steve Maddens. That's what I buy Steve Maddens, because I respect you, and I don't want us to spend too much money. I don't buy Jimmy Choo's, but today, motherfucker, Jimmy Choo's. Uh, so we even? <laughs> Most men in here are like, yeah, that's how it works, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> that's how it is, man. You, you do it, though, don't you? You just, God, I hate her. <laughs> Sometimes I wish my wife would get hit by a truck. Uh, that's a horrible thing to say. I know, it's horrible. And, and I thought we were friends. I thought we could talk. <laughs> sometimes I want out, all right? I'm gonna be honest, sometimes, not all the time, most of the time it's good, but sometimes I want out, just. But I don't get out. You know why I don't get out? Because there's another man waiting to sleep with her. <laughs> and I could not, I could not imagine another man sleeping with my wife. So I stay in, I fucking stay in. <laughs> So if my wife gets hit by a truck, <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> if my wife gets hit by a truck, cause I like her parents, and her parents like me, and if she gets hit by a truck, we'll probably still be friends. <laughs> and here's the best part, I can be a complete drunk and people will defend me. <laughs> hey man, why Steve drunk all the time? Shh. His wife got hit by a truck. <laughs> Why is Steve doing cocaine off that stripper's titties? Hey, have a little respect. His wife got hit by a truck. <laughs> I had a dream when I was a kid and she stole it. I'll tell you my dream, when I was a little kid, my father took me to an Astros game. Yeah. And he told me, he said, bring, bring your glove. And I said, okay, but they're not gonna hit it way up here. <laughs> and I, I sat up there like, as a little kid and I looked down and I used to see those guys that sat behind home plate. And I used to tell myself that one of these days I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna make money, and I'm gonna be the guy that sits behind home plate. And I'm proud to say, I'm proud to say last year I was able to do that. I was able to do, don't clap, don't clap, don't clap. Don't you dare clap, my wife was involved, Captain Evil. <laughs> That's what I call my wife, Captain Evil. She's like a messed up superhero. If I'm ever having too much fun, she will show up. <laughs> What's going on over here? What are you, smiling? We gotta go, we gotta go. I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm hot, I hate him, I hate her. Ah! And I'll tell you how it happened. I was sitting at home and I called my buddy up. I said, me, you, opening day, home plate. And I hung up the phone. And here comes Captain Evil. How come you didn't invite me? I said, first of all, how did you hear that? You're in the, you're in the kitchen, I'm in the living room. How come when I'm screaming at the top of my lungs for a beer, you're nowhere to be found. <laughs> 